just, I don't need to identify myself, I don't, do I? West Side Story is uh, where I'm from in Manhattan. I mean, I spent most of my childhood in that neighborhood, uh, right around Central Park uh, on the West Side there. That really afforded me uh, many musical opportunities. I could connect with a, an Al Haig, somebody that uh, was, you know, played with Charlie Parker. <laughs> The last record we did was uh, Bobby Broom plays for Monk, and we played that with respect to you know the jazz tradition, but in the way that we play. So uh, some of the things um, didn't sound like the way that Monk would do them, but I think that Monk may have appreciated that. I hope so. helpful for me to understand um, expression, to understand uh, dynamics, and not just for the trio, but for music. It was, it's such an open sound because Bobby has never played the guitar like some conventional guitar player. This is my first record of all original material. I felt that uh, you know, I just wanted to establish for the listeners, whoever's listening, <laughs> my sound and you know, who Bobby Broom is on the guitar. Can you recognize him? You know, do, do you care? <laughs> so I kind of felt like, well, I've done uh, quite a few different projects playing other people's music, and. Um, it was time now to see, you know, to like really test the waters and, and, and see uh, if people really can relate to, to, to me as a musician and a guitar player. I don't think you have ever heard him play like anybody else. To me, there's nothing chordally that, um, that you reference to some standard issue guitar trio stuff. This new record, uh, Upper West Side Story, we just approached our material, uh, my compositions, in much the same way, with an open mind. He's not going to rush in and fill things up with chords and and uh, get you out of it. So the um, the I think what 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 made that work with with uh, us and our dynamic was he invited lots of cool bass things. If if I could, he really opened up my imagination. <laughs> These blues was a uh, is a tune developed and created while we were recording another album, actually. And so while we were recording, there was a small space in the recording where uh, Dennis Carroll started playing this riff, and where he's playing, he's playing, and I just start playing. We're playing just like lightly and just like experimenting, and it became something. <laughs> uh, these are songs that I've written throughout the years, some very brand new. I find that my writing just reflects the music that I love, that we know. Uh, I'm not really trying to do anything but create music that is listenable to me and that feels good to me because I like to think that I am a, a music lover and fan, and I try to remain uh, in that same place that I was as a child. I've been
been recording uh, over the last 10 years or so uh, pretty pretty prolifically, like maybe a record a year. I'm, I'm fortunate that I have this inspiration. I have two groups, the, the trio, the Bobby Broom trio, and then the Deep Blue Organ trio. And these guys are, you know, among the highest level players. And uh, it's just a joy and an inspiration for me to make music with them. Um, I'm at the point now where that I need that. I need that inspiration. I need that. It and it. it I, it can't, I can't fake that, it just has to come up in me. Thank you.